Yo, what's going on, Sexy Samlander Squad? Um, right out the gate, I just want to say thank you every single person watching the video and liking. And um, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing if you do enjoy the content because you can always unsub at a later date if you don't. Um, I just figured I'd say thank you for, you know, watching the videos because... I, I don't know why, but I recently had a spike in subs, and we got over 200 one day, like two days ago. And I, I again, I don't know what happened or why it happened, but I'm very grateful, so thank you. Also, uh, again, I'm wearing another Into the AM shirt. Uh, you know, obviously, how much I love them. I talk about them every time I get a new one, which is often because I love them, like I said. <laughs> They're just super, super comfortable, and... Obviously, I just go with the basic design. It's got the little into the AM logo, and, and that's it. And yeah, I mean... Just another shout out there, because I really do think it's a super... good clothing company. Albeit... slightly on the more expensive side, but you're paying for the quality, and the quality is amazing, so... Yeah. If you do want to end up buying anything from their website which i recommend you can use my link down in the description or in a pinned comment that i'll put and um you'll get 10 percent off your order as well as be supporting me all at the same time so thank you in advance for anyone who does decide to buy any clothes from there and also you're welcome for recommending them because it's amazing and i use them all the time now let's get to the game. We're fighting a Bakasura, obviously. I mean, there's literally no reason for me to be scared right now. I don't know, he's... He's playing kind of weird right now. Oop. Oop. Yeah, let's just keep hitting the tower and pushing whatever slight lead we have. Basically, my lead is just my gold advantage at the moment. That's all I'm going for. He has five here. Please don't kill me. I'm fragile and also ugly. Can ult? Not gonna ult. I'm just gonna auto me a couple times and run away. Weird, but I'll accept. Okay. There's the alt down. No big deal, Areno. Alright, he's going for the minis. That's fine. I got my Hecate ring online. Or Hakate ring online. Whatever. I still don't think it's a big deal. But, you know, people are always going to think I'm saying it the wrong way. So, I'm just going to say it both ways. For the end of my days. Also, I'm a rapper. We're still ahead, which is surprising. We're ahead of an early game Bakasura. As Kronos. That's like... That's not very good for him. That's like... That's nearing F6 territory. When you're behind as Bakasura against a late game god, you're in, you're in pretty close to F6 territory, in my opinion. Oh, he's spam laughing me. I know who this is, by the way. And, um... Let's just say he's done some pretty bad shit, including um, scamming real people for a lot amount of money. And I'm pretty sure if you've been to my Twitch chat, you know who this is too, but you know, that's that. That's all I'm going to say about it. Only reason I mention that is because him spam laughing means almost nothing to me. And by almost nothing, I mean like quite literally nothing. Mm. Alright. Dying there kind of sucks. I didn't think you'd have the mana go all in like that but 
I had the mana to alt, but I didn't know if um, if I could get the alt off in time. And what I didn't realize was that I had shell. So I probably, well, not even probably, I definitely could have shelled and then ulted and lived during that engagement, but my neurons didn't fire fast enough. First game of the day and all that, you know? But even after losing First Blood, we're still, like, even. Which is amazing, by the way. I got his beads there for no reason. Laugh it up, buddy. Stay here. Ah. Uh, I am so Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, um... I guess he realized he couldn't win. Because he was losing early game as Bakasura to a Kronos. He hit me with a smiley face. I'm actually not exactly sure why this guy's not blocked and filed a police report against. So let me just, you know, hit him with the block real quick. Because... Massive yikes to him. That block. Alright. Cool beans. Now we wait. Look at the skins that came out. Thor. Heels. No gods. And... Ooh. Maybe I want to play Cupid next match. That's a really cool skin. Maybe I do a video just about this skin. I don't know. Skin videos on my channel don't do that well though. This is a really cool skin. Oh, dude, I wonder if they released this skin because of the uh, Destroy All Humans remake that came out. Was it a remake or is it Destroy All Humans 2? Destroy All Humans 2? Came out in 2006, so remake. Came out on Steam four days ago, so it was a remake. Just making sure. But I saw something, by the way. And I don't know if there's any amount of truth to this at all. Um, and I could definitely be spreading complete lies. But I saw something where the next battle pass, or like the next collaborative battle pass, is going to be a Samurai Jack one. Um, I don't know if that's true. But I got a couple ideas for gods who could use a who could use a jack skin. By the way, let me show you guys. Talking about if you don't know this this show. Anyone remember this show? You think, you think it's a Susano? I I really hope it's not a Susano. Me too. Hmm. Could be a gender bent Amaterasu skin. Because that looks really good for. The... Uh, he, he is up there for samurais, that's true. Maybe. Who else has a sword in this game? The Mulan? A girl again? <laughs> Making your mirror I just hit you, just with, the you with, the, with the katana. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. What about. I don't know. There's like no one else that I could see wielding a sword. Maybe Hachiman. But he's like. He only uses his sword when he dashes. Tear. But, but, 
Yeah, but and Samurai Jack, he's he's kind of not thick enough. Yeah, he's a petite boy. But maybe there's another character other than him that they would make. I don't know. But anyways, I saw a picture on Twitter that said, or pretty much explained that that might be it. And all I'm saying is I've never watched the show and I would still be super down for that. I honestly think any kind of, um, I honestly think any kind of collaborative show, the game thing is a good idea. Like, oh my God, imagine South Park characters in Smite. Imagine like, like Cupid running around as Kyle. Yeah, or like, or Timmy. <laughs> Timmy! <laughs> I don't know, man. There's so many things that could happen. Now that they've gotten a show to collaborate with, it opens up so many more possibilities for other shows to jump in. You know? It would be so cool. I'm also really upset that there's no earthbending skin. Because low key, that's my favorite element in the show. Because I'm pretty sure if earthbending was real, I would be an earthbender. You would be a you say, you say that you would be a firebender, but I would think I think you're an airbender because yeah. you're a pacifist. Can I punch someone? Oh, so you're a pacifist. Person. Well, would you punch anyone ever? What? <laughs> okay, so what if... What if somebody came up to me and slapped me in the face and all of a sudden, I'm a quadriplegic and I can't move? You gonna defend me? I just get slapped in a... Drop to the phone. <laughs> Can you... Are you gonna defend me? You gonna punch that person out for me? Hey, what? I'm just saying, a firebender would go ape shit on him. If I was a firebender, I'm... So are you just a firebender in spirit? I know you're a nice person. You could, but I guess you could be like, well, I was gonna say something. Is it okay to spoil Avatar? It's been out for like 15 years. Like reformed man? I don't want to say the name for spoiler reasons. He is a nice... Well, he wasn't always a nice person, though. Um... No, he was... He's... Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, but, but he always, like... Whatever, you're a firebender. You're a firebender. But I expect you to beat ass if I randomly become a quadriplegic. <laughs> Anyways, what was I talking about? Oh, skins and shows, skins and shows. What other show would be a great skin? Um... <gasps> Pokemon skins, dude? I don't think they no, I, dude, I doubt it. I, yeah, Pokemon is huge. I mean, Avatar is really big also right now, but not not even close to Pokemon. Yo! And then a Cthulhu Charizard, and then when he evolves, it turns into that new, like, X-Evolve thing or something. Yeah, Mega Evolution. That'd be, that'd be fun. That'd be so cool. <laughs> Blastoise <laughs> Blast Kuzumbo! You can shoot a little squirtle out! <laughs> oh shit, bro! Yo, that's cool. And what, what would what, Venusaur? Venusaur would be like... A Sylvanas? I'm oh, yeah, Rhinos, he though. would he would be Sylvanas for sure. I don't know, like... I don't know what who would be who. Is like the problem. We can get Fenrir as Raikou, or Raichu, or whatever his name is. Raikou. 
You mean Fenrir? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. We could get... Are there any bird people? Hey, first blood, boys. That was scary. I altered him and then he didn't Aegis, and then I used my 3 1 combo, and then he did Aegis, and then he was one auto away from dying, and then I had the Aegis his Kraken, and then I hit him with an auto when he died. Tell him a story. What should I tell them about? What should I tell them about? Anything in my life that I should tell a story about? I'm pretty boring. <laughs> you think they want to hear a story about loaves of bread? <laughs> well, in order to tell that story, I'd have to stay you know, where they are. You know? So, I don't really know what kind of story to tell. I'm a pretty lame person, turns out. Oh, but they were really good. So, you know where you got that recipe off? I wonder if I could post it. <gasps> Babe! We should challenge my viewers to a cook-off. We should post your recipe there and then tell them to post pictures of them making the recipe in the Discord. And then we will vote on them and then give the winner like $10 or so. For the prettiest presentation for the enchilada recipe we gave them. But I feel like if they're just making any enchilada, they could cheat a little bit. Her enchilada's wrong. And what? We are talking about there's no there's no innuendos. It's we're literally talking about an enchilada food. No innuendos. Get your mind out of the gutter. I didn't even think about that until she said it, but then she said it and I'm thinking about it and you better cut it out. But I do think we should challenge them to an enchilada hall. Or man, what what food is like really crazy hard to make? Ooh, a souffle. Well, that's not really fair, because the metronome in my chat, he's like literally a professional chef. <laughs> so, so ban him. Anyone good at cooking, go away. <laughs> this is for us shit chefs. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. I can't really cook anything. I can cook breakfast, pretty much anything breakfast. Apparently I can make Spanish rice. I can, yeah, I mean, well, pancakes fall under the, the breakfast category. I'm really good at breakfast. Everything else is like, eh. <laughs> like the Spanish rice was apparently good that I made yesterday. And... Other than that, I mean, like, I can make ground turkey, but I don't make it. Like, I can make it, and it tastes okay, but you, Shiv just makes it a lot better than me. <laughs> Carrion that's never had any meat in her life. And get your mind out the gutter again when I said that. <laughs> oh my god, babe, you're just, you're just throwing out innuendos left and right. Dude, that Kraken went off like a bass boosted song. Oh well, blew my ear drum out. I should what? Grill some bergs? <laughs> should I tell them about the burgers I tried to make you? <laughs> okay, so. Obviously, for those who don't know, Shiv is a vegetarian, so. Um. We got these veggie burgers, 
So we got Beyond Burgers, and Beyond Burgers have, what is it, beet juice in them? Which is like the pink coloring to make them kind of seem like they're real. And when I make burgers, I, I make them well done. I know, go ahead, berate me now. But I hate fatty meats and bloody meats. It grosses me the hell out. So when I make burgers, I normally cook them until there's no more pink. You know, pink gone, get your mind out of the gutter. Um, I normally cook it until the, all the pink is gone, and then that's like, they're done, you know? With these Beyond Burgers, you can't do that, and I didn't know that. And so here I am, like, 55 minutes into full blast burgers on the stove, like, why are they still pink? <laughs> and um, <clears throat> I finally brought them downstairs, and I shit you not... You could you could throw a hole through a concrete block with these things. <laughs> like, like it was so bad. Oh my god. I felt They were so burnt. They were so burnt. I felt so bad too after. I was like, no. Like I went and I laid in bed like I'm a terrible person. I was a good You she did she tried to eat one. And she got like halfway through, which to be honest is way more than I would ever go through. Um, but yeah, she she tried, which I appreciate, but also I feel really really bad about the fact that she had to put her stomach through that and her and her jaw. Yeah, I'm I'm not kidding when I say it was like eating bricks. Worse than bricks, even. It was so bad. But now I know you can't you can't the pink out of a Beyond Burger. Now we're just switching from... Okay. Well... So, basically... Well, I, it's a really bad time to start doing that because this guy, I'm just gonna demolish him. This game. Start doing it? Okay. So, I'm gonna go up to the wave. I'm gonna three the wave and then one the wave. Make sure you get two autos in there so they keep the whole wave. In the three for optimal clear. My build versus his build. Alright. So, ever since Ring of Hecate or Ring of Hecate, again, gonna say both every time, became, you know, an item, you always wanna build that item first. If you're going any amount of lifesteal, or even if you're on a god that can auto attack at all, which is all of them, by the way. You pretty much want to build Ring of Hecate because it's so strong. It's a 30% swing, right? You don't get stronger than a 30% swing. Ouch. Um, a 30% swing in a fight... Oh, get away from me, ugly. Is like... Hold on. He's going to juke it. And... Oh, I missed. What do you know? One shut up. Dicks, dude. I had no mana and he healed so much. He got his ring of Hecate. Okay, but basically, um, you always want to go ring of Hecate first because it's a much bigger power spike than Bancroft's is early game. Because Bancroft's is only a really big power spike when you're low HP and it gives you 200 power. Um, but 30% attack speed and 80 power is much better than no attack speed and 100 power base. Uh, for the same reason, I think attack speed boots are better than ninja tabby, pretty much. Only this is obviously a little bit bigger of a change. Um, not to mention that physical power doesn't scale the same way that magical power does, so... Magical power is less impactful, um, you know, at a one-to-one -one ratio as physical power is, obviously... Because of the fact that, I mean, it's pretty obvious because magical power caps at 900, whereas physical caps at 400. So obviously, it's not a 1 to 1 ratio. It's more like a 1 point, or it's like a 2.2 ratio or whatever for magical to physical. So 20 magical power is almost nothing. And that's what you get when you buy Bancrofts first. Assuming you're full health, which you should be, because 
Bancroft is so much life steal that if you're not in the middle of a fight, you should be full HP. So that that switch is basically just like why I go Ring of Hecate instead of Bancroft first. He went he went Bancroft into Ring of Hecate, which isn't that strong. He might win this next fight just because he went defense because he's a baby back bitch and I'm not, but. But other than that. I'm just farming right now, by the way. I can't push him. I gotta wait for him to step up a little bit. He's being a little scaredy baby boy. Ooh. Ooh, he has beats. Where you going, brother? Bada 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 bada. Alright, let's see the cracking damage difference. Oh, I didn't hit him with the center. This suck. Oh, well, he did beads the whirlpool. Which is why I missed, I guess. And he's got tier defense. I don't know. Either way, I think, especially in a mirror match, like a Poseidon mirror match, or like a Soul or a Freya or any kind of mirror match like that, the attack speed is just so significant. There's there's literally never a reason to. What the? F he just sold his tier two Genjis to get a bulwark, setting him even further behind in gold because he had a tier two Genjis. Bro, he just set himself like an extra five hundred gold behind. I basically killed him twice with that one kill. That was a big misplay. Holy crap. I think because of my attack speed and the fact that I'm Poseidon, I can just kind of slam this out. Kraken, obviously, for the secure. What's up, gamer? All right. Don't want to let him back that easily. I got a minion wave coming in, so... If I can stop him from backing, get my minions in this Phoenix even earlier, that's super ideal. That's what exactly what happened. Let me just ring of Hecate him out of the corner. Good luck, dingus. Get away from me. Right. And then the attack speed build again. Ooh, I do so much damage. understand the bulwark bulwark play there at all like i'm trying to i'm trying to understand it i guess i guess the shield is good but the 10 percent like it's got less defense it's got more hp i'll give it that but it's got less defense overall no cooldown no MP5, which is a big deal. All it really gives you is the shield and 20% CCR, but you don't need CCR because a knockup can't be CC CCR'd anyways. A knockup duration is going to be that duration no matter what. Fun fact. It's the only, it's the, it's, knockup is the best CC in Smite, period, because nothing can affect it. You can't beads out of it. Once you're knocked up, you're knocked up forever until the duration ends. So there's no amount of CCR or beads or Aegis or whatever that gets you out of a knockup. Whereas if you're rooted, you just beads out of that bitch, you know? And you do that, bef like if you beads while being rooted, you can still run out. But if you beads while you're knocked up, you still have to wait to land. Even if you, even um, King Arthur alt, 
Even if you beads that, you still are in the air for like a second and a half before you land. It's bullshit. So, yeah, being knocked up is super OP. So the CCR doesn't do anything on Bulwark of Hope. So it's literally just the shield that he bought it for. And I don't think that garbage-ass 350 HP shield is worth 10% cooldown, 40 MP5, and 10 magical protection. I do 350 damage in one fucking auto. With my two active, obviously. I don't know, man. Not to mention, he lost so much gold, too, because he sold Tier 2 Genjis to get it. Which I think, selling Tier 2 Genjis sells for like 700 gold. Costs 1250 to buy. Who's 500 gold? That's a whole That's a whole 500 pot, dude. The whole power pot you're missing out on. Just buy a fucking power pot if you want to waste 500 gold. Or sit in your base for like 10 seconds. I don't understand. I don't understand. And he was behind. Yeah, Serrated Blade is really... Well, actually... No. Serrated Edge would not be good on her. Because her 3 is always up. Her 3 doesn't have a cooldown. And the passive recharges it really fast. So you can never have Serrated Edge proct on her. On Pele. I do want to play that Cupid skin, but I kind of want to do that for its own. I don't want to just throw it in here. I don't know if it'll do good as its own video, because, like, skin videos don't necessarily do well on my on my channel. One, because I don't know how to talk about them other than, other than how to say, like, they're cool. I would be really bad at a few. Just thinking about it. Because, like... I wouldn't bite into something and be like, oh, it's so juicy and the fat give it so much flavor and you know, all yada yada. I'd be like, yeah, this is pretty good. You should try it. You know? <laughs> People are going to be like, what the fuck, dude? I don't want to see that. <laughs> That's probably why why skin, skin uh, videos don't do well on my channel. I don't know how to sell them. Oh, okay. Actually, I kind of want to play Kali. <laughs> okay so yeah I, I don't have my Kali purple border because I was playing duel obviously and I had an undefeated record with Kali but I was so bored man I was so bored and then I queued I was queuing I queued into Anthony Charlie Relly if you don't know him you should definitely go check him out because he's cool and funny Um, I also have a crush on him and so I was playing against him, and then we got in Discord together when we queued into each other, and we were just laughing and joking the whole time. He was tear. And then, like, 24 minutes in, I'm killing his Titan. Or not even 24 minutes in, like, 20 minutes in. I'm killing his Titan. It's got, like, 10 HP left. And he says if he can make it to, um... If he can make it to my Titan, then I have to have 6. And obviously, I'm like, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, we were racing, and it was I had to back, and then he had to back, and then we we just ran to each other's titans to see who could get there first. Obviously, he beat me because he sold his boots for Talaria's boots, and um, yeah, and he he beat my ass. He had Boomba's mask and everything, and so I surrendered because you know I'm a man of my word, and it was hilarious, anyways. And after like two minutes after I surrendered, I realized, oh my god, <laughs> I just lost my perfect Kali record. To a tear meme <laughs> by f6 into a friend because of a joke and um now that's why i have a, a diamond border instead of a, a master's one that's why i got my i'm holding my l's unfortunate but also very fun um i double buff when they have a lot more clear than me. When I definitely cannot compete in clear, I double buff because it's just a certain it's a way to keep up and farm against someone you know is just gonna outclear you all the time. I'm gonna back. 
because obviously. This should do well. All right, all right, all right. Gotta go get the wave, and then after I get this wave, I should be able to um, get Golden Blade, which will help my clear a lot. It won't necessarily help me. Oh, please. Damn. It won't necessarily help me out clear him. I don't think I'll ever out clear him, to be honest. But it'll help me stay in lane longer than two waves. Which is nice. That will do. At least that's the goal. Hopefully it will help me stay in lane for more than two waves. The early game is going to be really rough. Late game should be no problem at all. Honestly. Um... But early game is going to be really rough. Alright. Jump on him, get his roll. Why are you not rolling? Got no mana. You can't fight me. Fine by me. We both used alts and we both used relics. So, I'm cool with it. My relic is on a little bit of a shorter cooldown than him. I was gonna wonder if he's going straight for red buff, but there's no way in hell. He's just gonna back. That is one of the issues about this matchup is that I can... Or not me, sorry, but he can... Just alt my alt. But to counter that, I'm going to be using my alt as an offensive tool rather than a defensive tool. And what I mean by that is that I'm basically just going to be using my alt as an auto attack reset. So if you don't know, I've showed it off a lot of times. Um, but Kali's 3 is an auto reset, her 2 is an auto reset, and her alt is an auto reset. All of which bring her to this. 1 damage instead of the 2.5s. So basically you're doing 50% more damage um, each hit, which adds up to a lot over time. Mm, I'm just going to do blue here, I think. Um, pretty sure he wins this. Oh, he's Marvels. Alright, he didn't win it. Well, I guess he won it because he, he's alive, but he didn't win it, you know? Didn't clip a clap on me. I do want my blue buff. I think... It's probably really greedy if I go for blue here. I'm just going to clear wave and back. I probably could go for blue, but I don't want that greed. Get out my face. He's going Devos. Next item is probably going to be Serrated, because that item is still super OP, even when it was nerfed. And then... This is warded, by the way. Keep that in mind. I'm going to pull it back here so that he doesn't have vision of it, so he can't steal it with an auto through the wall or anything cheeky. I really just need to clear the wave, and I'm kind of sick of you not letting me do that. I'm actually so dead. I should have jumped. Oh! I didn't even see him. I was waiting. I was waiting to see him. And then I was going to wait for him to auto blink past the auto stun ult and burst him down. But uh, for some reason, I couldn't see him. Bummer. Your middle tower is under attack. So this whole game is going to come down to... 
how much I can keep him at bay early game. And right now it's not looking like very well. Oh, I caught his dash there. He's dead. Okay. Alright, well that's kind of huge. Because not only does that give me some tower damage and make him lose some, some gold and XP. Also gives me free farm over a lot of stuff, which is huge. And because of my passive, I have more gold than him. Well, I don't have more gold than him, but I get more gold per kill, so we're doing pretty good right now. Grab this serrated. But anyways, I was going to say... the Blood Forge? I was going to say... Um, I'm sorry, that threw me off. Why did he get Blood Forge? I literally can't think of a reason why he would want Blood Forge other than 75 power, but it's just not as good in duel. Maybe it's for his ult? Maybe I'm getting memed? Um, you got a chalice. He'll probably kill here. Okay. My auto didn't kill, dude. Oh my god, that's actually so sad. Holy shit. That's so bad, man. Hmm. That's really, really bad. I don't know what relic I want yet. Damn, man. He must have had one HP. That's so unlucky. Damn, damn. Really sucks. By the way, I know this guy is, um, he's an SPL player. I fought him yesterday, or two days ago, or however long it was, I guess. And, um, yeah, I found out he's an SPL player then. I beat him, but, yeah. I just don't want him to have red. I'm down to use a relic for that. Alright. He, um... I found this out the other day when I was fighting him. He takes fights that he really shouldn't. And I think it's just because, well, it's it's one of two things, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to figure out which one it is, but it's one of two things. Whenever an SPL player comes to duel, one, they think we're all shit and they don't take us seriously, which you know I don't know if that's it or not, or two, they play really aggressively because they think they can't get ganked, which. Is literally speaking true, but builds are completely different in duel. So you don't really need to get ganked if you just outfight. Yeah, Zitraval, this is a bad idea, by the way, but I'm doing it anyways. Okay, nice. Huh? Thanks. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I just used all my abilities so I could get Serrated Edge and then. Duped his autos so that he didn't get the itch of all stacks on me, so my first couple of hits were going to be extra strong. And then after that, all I did was get my auto reset on my thorns, preemptively of course, because you don't want to thorns too late and then die with them up. Um, and holding dubs in that fight. He's getting defense now. I really like his itch of all pickup, but his blood forge pickup is 
And that's a Conquest play through and through. Not only, by the way, not only is he an SPL player, but he's apparently the MVP of SPL right now. So he's pretty nuts. Alright. It's, um... It's kind of that time, man. It's kind of, kind of late game Kali. Good luck. That's where we're at right now. Use all my abilities to get Serrated Edge proc because it works on towers for whatever reason. Phoenix down here. See if we can drop that red so he can't get it. Did he get tier 2 defense? Oh, he did not. I almost don't want to finish my defense and go straight at Javal. I think that's what I'll do. Oh, I could just go stone cutting actually, that's maybe better. I don't know if Ichaval or stone cutting is better right now. Or maybe I'll just kill him again. GG. GG SPL MVP. He's very good. Don't get me wrong. I mean... It's just Conquest doesn't translate to Duel. Just like Duel doesn't translate to Conquest. Like... Rotating... And knowing the meta build is very important in Conquest. But in Duel... Mechanics and counter building your opponent... Or what you should focus on. And, um... I mean, I'm just gonna say it. Blood Forge is not it. That's, like, that's just not it for Duel. Ever. I... I mean, unless you're memeing. I've built it quite a few times, but obviously I was memeing. It was either in a full power build or a full lifesteal build. I haven't done a full lifesteal build in a while. Soul Leader got buffed. Aussie... Huh? Will I still Pele? Or just play Pele? Okay. I wonder if Pele got any news. Pele doesn't get skins that often. Dark Blade. Heat Sink. Pink Lotus. This is a new one. Isn't it? Is this a new one? Why is she looking Terra thick in Pink Lotus skin? Like, this is normal Pele? They're like, alright. This is the other Pele. She, dude, she's definitely Terra thick. He's even earthbending her weapons out like Terra. What does this mean? I'll play, I'll play Pele. I'm down for a Pele game. She's kind of nuts, too. Play. I wonder what, um... Dude, I hate that my MMR is still so hot. It seems like MMR is really inflated this season. For this split. Because... I'm like... I like purposely try to lose. When I'm not recording. In order to get my MMR low enough to pull off the shitty memes that I do. And I, I and I still have twenty three fifty. I'm I'm literally still in Grandmaster. I I'm not even I I'm top twenty in the world, and I literally am not even trying. Like I'm trying to lose, and I'm top twenty in the world. So I think MMR is just super inflated right now. I'm level thirty three on my prestige avatar. 40 days remaining. I gotta get this, man. If I don't get Avatar Aang Merlin skin, I'm gonna be the laughing stock of everyone. Like, I have... Uh, I have the normal Avatar. You get that when you get level 60, I think. But I have this one. I don't have his Avatar. 
Yeah, there's this one, and then there's his oh, avatar. No, like... Yeah, so the battle pass, it has... Oh, God. It has the normal battle pass, and then it has this prestige battle pass. No, so you go from 1 to 60, and then once you get to level 60, or is it 50 or 60? It's 60. So you go from 1 to 60, and then once you pass level 60, you go back to level 1 on a prestige path. Hmm? I mean, I feel like most people won't, but the streamer boys will, and if I don't fit in with my streamer boys, then I'm going to be shunned out. A stupid idiot. Why do his tattoos end in his armpits? Is it like that in the show? They don't, like, connect anywhere? Hold on, I gotta look it up now. Who got engaged? Some random person, I don't know. It was a like from somebody else on Twitter. Um... Oh, <laughs> okay. So, there, hold on. Let me let me look at this first. Avatar Aang. back. Okay, so it actually doesn't connect. This is his reference sheet for tattoos in books one and two and book three, and they don't connect. It like connects in his asshole, and goes up his back. Look, I'm not kidding. Look. Hold on, I'm gonna show everyone. So it look, it like goes up his legs into his asshole and then connects over his back. But these just go straight into his armpit and they don't connect anywhere. Weird. Learn something new every day. So there's an imposter on PS4. I'm sure there's a lot of imposters on PS4 and Xbox, but one got brought to my attention. I'm actually gonna name call him here because I want him to stop being a dickhead. Um, should I not name call him? I want to call him out so that he, if people see him, they can't just. Where's my phone? Thank you. One second. His name is Roguester underscore G on PS4, and he claims that that is me. On a conquest only account practicing because my PC got stolen and also puts pictures that I have with Shiv that yeah apparently he says is my wife which I'm not married I'm we're dating um he posts pictures off my Twitter claiming that they're new pictures that he just took and he um yeah, he says that I, I'm playing PS4 because my PC got stolen. And he has me as his phone lock screen, apparently. So that's really creepy and also really weird. And also, I don't understand a lot of people. But yeah, if you see him, don't say anything bad to him because that's not very nice. But just don't buy into his, his shtick about him trying to be me. It's messed up, it's stupid, and also, why would you want to be me anyway? Okay, good talk. Let's beat some ass. Sorry, uh, what? Yeah, I start, I, I start Hakate on all of these stupid ass characters. Anyone that can auto attack that's a mage, I buy it. Hey, ugly boy. By the way, um, the Punisher is a friend of mine. I know there was a video where I got mad at him. Not really mad at him, but he was just running away from me and it was annoying. And a lot of people got mad at him and started messaging him. And that's super messed up. Please don't do that. I definitely do not condone that in any way, ever. Um, but hey, we're back and we're ready to frag. Let's get it. I think this is... I could be wrong, but I think this is the exact same matchup that we played last time we fought. Which is weird. I think he only plays Seth, though. 
We're clearing wave. He's probably double buffing because he can't compete with my wave clear, which is the right play. He did double buff because he can't compete with my wave clear. We're just autoing tower here. Nothing special. Running away because I don't want him to try to kill me, but staying close enough to auto attack him. I don't really care about that poke. I'm Hades, what's up? Instant wave clear, full HP. And back to hitting tower. So my goal, by the way, in this matchup, is to not let him get the late game. He gets to late game, I'm scared. He might ult me here. Clearly I don't want him to. I'm holding my one for if he ults, obviously. He no longer has his 3, so I'm not very scared of him um, ulting me. And now I have my ult, so if he does 3, then he dies. Where is he? Alright, run away. Duke the 1, but got hit by the, the mini boy. What was that? Oh, other side of the wall. Alright, so if he ults me, I should be able to just pop Ankh. Which, by the way, I think um, Ankh counters set. So if you want... Stopped me like that? If you want to beat a set, I suggest upgrading Cursed Ankh and fighting with that up. Because his ult counts as a heal. And it's very strong against him. There's his ult and there's his three. I pop Curse Stonk. Oh, I'm dead, dude. Good shell. If I had this or literally... Actually, if I didn't, if I wasn't sitting at 1.6k gold, <laughs> I would have killed him there. I killed the wave, which was probably my mistake, honestly. If I kept the wave alive... Then I would have been able to life steal off of it and it would have been a lot better. That's alright though. Because again, like, Set needs to. He needs to fight with alt up, right? And if he all ends me and I just pop Cursed Onk and then alt, there's no way in hell late game he wins that fight. No way. Especially if I have Akate all charged up on him and he's doing 15% less damage and I'm doing 15% more. He's uh he's he's gonna be hitting like a noodle, and I'm gonna be hitting like a noodle, but like the Poseidon kind, not like the other kind. Can I invade him? I'm really not sure yes is the answer. No, okay, it's not. Perfect. Glad we figured that out. I want to hit him so the minions still group up on me. Or I could just detonate early too, that's fine. Alright. Looks like he's just going to stay back. And farm up. Which I'm cool with at the moment. I think late game is... Well, I don't know if late game is better for me. I definitely... I wouldn't go that far. Say it's definitely better, but... I don't know, man. I'm trying to think, like, is my early game or my late game better? Yo. How much? Tell me. Tell me. Tell me how much. Just give it to me. Seven. Fuck. Like, dude, every time he fights me, I have 1700 or more gold in my hand. I just gotta I just gotta stop being so greedy. I just gotta back, man. A couple more deaths like that and this game is in the hole and there's no way out, so I gotta be careful from here on out. I really think I should maybe upgrade my Ankh next. I think that would be a big play. Just a money move there.
He gets red buff. And I guess... Can't really do anything about it when I have a hundred second cooldown on my only damaging ability. Oh, he got his transcendence. That's why he's being an aggro bitch. Your middle tower is under attack. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is he I'm gonna do bull demon? Because that's what I would do if I was in his position right now. Not. This one is blue. Wow. Imagine farming. Alright. Looks like we're backing. I think we're going to upgrade this and go breastplate here. Defense will help a lot. And upgraded Ankh will help a shit ton as well. And once I get my thorns, that will help even more. Well, I don't know. Will thorns help that much, actually? I think I might rather just have Aegis. I don't know. What's up? What's up, Captain Uggo? He's got tier 2 D. Might be able to kill him here. Ah, uh, damn. I'm actually so dead. No, he ran. He was scared of the turn. Nice. We got a shell, though. Yeah, not bad. He got a curse knock as well. He doesn't want heal. He doesn't want me healing just as much as I don't want him healing. Pretty sure I can't get this. I'm nuts. <laughs> I'm gonna go pick this up. He doesn't have um alter anything, so I should be okay. Also, he missed. I'm nuts, dude. Wait, I have 1,700 gold. If I've learned anything, if I have 1,700 gold and we fight, he kills me. I can't. I can't keep doing it. Just back. Well, don't back with a minion wave going to your tower. That's asking for L's. But... He can't have the blue. It's fine. Back. Don't be stupid. What a gamer. Alright. I no longer am in a 1700 gold deficit in hand. And I can make sick play. Are you doing bull demon? No, he's out his blue. Next item. That might be a Pestilence instead of a Bulwark. If it is, first off, that's much better. Actually, no, I think Bulwark is better. I think 20% CCR against my Fear would be pretty good. We'll see what he does, though. He already has a Curse Song, so he can just go Toxic Blade. He doesn't need Pestilence. But he went Pestilence, which is actually better for me, I think. Oh, hi! You scary bitch. Oh, how'd you do that? Dude, I'm nuts. 
Did you see that? You didn't see it. I'm so nuts. I'm fucking nuts. Oh my god, dude. I missed so hard. Oh my god, dude. That was crazy. What a nuts ass fight, man. What a crazy ass fight. I should not have won that. Oh my god. That, dude, that's one for the playbooks. That's one for the montage that someone's eventually gonna make of me to make me look super cool. And if they don't, well, you know what? At least I have the memory. Get away from me! Scare me. It's going Toxic Blade too. Man, he really thinks too much of my healing. Can I have that? No? I mean, it's polite to ask, but... Whatever, I guess. Don't back in my face. Don't patronize me. What did I just say? I thought. Alright, we stopped his back for a while, so now we clear the wave. Ah, he's staying. Oh. Why'd he walk into it? Hit me. Hit me. Hit me! <laughs> Alright. I don't really know what that play was. To be honest, I'm not going to question it. Boom. 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 Alright, speed buff down. 1700 gold, so I know I'm gonna die soon. Let's get the tower and then back, so I don't die soon. Man, this whole 1700 gold strat really works out. I should implement it in other games. I'm gonna go with Typhons, actually, instead of Bancrofts. Because Typhons has 10% uh, pen. And I already have a decent amount of lifesteal with my ring and my boots. So, that's pretty good. Not a bad idea. I wanna go with Telekines and, um... Toxic Blade is my, la my last two items. So I can frag out with the auto attacks. Actually? Hmm. Because... Because, um... Doing Bull Demon is tough to do as Hades. Without it getting stolen. I think I'm just going to go Polynomicon and, and Telekines. And just skip out on the... Anti-heal right now, because I I have upgraded Onk, right? Like, how much more anti-heal do I truly need? You don't scare me, dude. I don't think he was trying to scare me, by the way. I think he was trying to clear the wave. I'll just go do Bull Demon, man. I don't know. I feel like it's gonna get stolen, though. Um... I don't know. I need to fear him. Does he have beats? I need to fear him and detonate while he's here. Dicks, dude. So upset. God damn it. Alright. I'm actually sitting kind of pretty right now. All the anti heal ran off, so we clear full HP.
And I was so close to getting that shit too. Red's not even up. Alright, let's go Polly. So I can actually try to start poking down. Oh god, he has serrated. Is serrated actually that good? Because when you use your three with set, it doesn't go on cooldown until actually until it's actually over. It stays on like the emblem stays up that it's not on cooldown while it's being used. I don't actually know if Serrated is that good. Like, I don't know the uptime on that. But the base stats are still pretty powerful. Fuck okay. it. We're an hour and ten minutes in, dude. Whatever. I have Polly. I'm gonna poke it down. I think this is the play, bro. Wasn't the play. Yeah, I mean, late game, like I said, upgraded Curse Donk with Thorns. He doesn't heal at all. He takes 20% more damage. And trading with a, a Hades with a max out ult, it just ain't happening, Chief. Like, it gives you so much protection. For the poly, use the two. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy phoenix. I don't want to use abilities here because I might need them for him to peel, so I'm just gonna auto. He doesn't win that fight. What I can do with this is group up the minions, explode the titan in the middle of it. I could be pretty close to dead here. But he doesn't have the cooldown that I have, so he might not have ult. He should not have his 3 up yet. I lied completely and I'm an idiot. Let's do some more damage. Thank you minions for stopping by and being honest to god gentlemen. He's gonna ult me here and I might die. Nice. Well played. Kind of the minions. Did some, some damage with the poly. GG, bro. I really hope you guys enjoyed this um, Try Hard Thursday. An hour and 13 minutes. Half of it was funny. Half of it was informative. And if you did enjoy, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Like I said in the beginning of the video, make sure to check out these t-shirts because they're super comfortable. Again, I'll link that down below. I'll link my little code for it. And um, yeah, until next time, guys. Peace.